And what's up guys, Shadow Dragonic here, bringing you another blind episode of Let's Play Destiny. Now before I get started, I wanted to, once again, because I can't do it enough, give a shout out to Slow and Malachi Toe for helping me out uh, with the strike runs and stuff that we were doing the other day. Um, those guys are just completely awesome. They're uh, some of the best guys I've met online in quite some time. Um, and on top of that, you know, all you guys that have been helping me in the comments section uh, of my videos, you know, letting me know what I can do and how I can improve things and, you know, all that stuff. Uh, thank you so much. Um, you know, you guys have all been very helpful, uh, you know, with trying to get me to progress and, you know, just overall trying to fix my stupidity. And I, I really do appreciate it a lot. Um, I hope... I hope uh, very soon in the future, um, you know, I can collab with uh, Slow again and Malachi and, you know, I have some, I have a bunch of other people that actually want to join me online as well doing strike missions and hopefully raid stuff soon. It's just a matter of, you know, time zone stuff that we got to get worked out. Um, but before we get started, I also wanted to say, um, after I cut camera, I did play a nightfall raid with or uh nightfall strike not a raid sorry with uh malachi and slow and i did end up getting a, a skeleton key out of it now it was it was a suicide run and in a way i kind of wish i would have recorded it because it was pretty it was pretty funny i mean it was it was fun we did get gold tier which was kind of incredible i guess uh none of us really expected to get it except malachi who was pretty suicidal that day but you know, we, we managed to do it. I managed to get a skeleton key out of it, so uh, we got that part knocked out. Now I guess the next thing to do would be to use the skeleton key in um, that one mission on Mars that they were telling me about. Uh, that one strike mission. I don't even remember now. Oh well, we'll get around to it eventually uh, to get myself a better ghost. But yeah, uh... Today, what I'm going to be doing is um, trying to find all the all the modules or get the modules repaired for the Aquilos Fusion Core, which is probably going to take a while. And um, we'll uh, we'll see what happens, I guess. Um, but on that note, I also want to give a shout out to Mr. Insane Alien on YouTube, who was nice enough to. Um, help me figure out what I need to do in order to get those modules because I, I wouldn't have been able to do it not unless I you know looked it up online or whatever but even then it's kind of like I don't know I don't want to say it's difficult to figure stuff out but we'll just go ahead and roll with it I guess now from what I understand I need to do a specific mission as well as um, three MSAT events, one on uh, one on the moon, one on Mars, and I think he said one on Venus, uh, as well as a mission on Venus, I think. And I need to uh, disassemble a legendary heavy, or an exotic heavy, which I thought I did already. But I never got any I never got any um, stuff for it. So To be honest, I don't know what to disassemble. Hmm. 
Well, let's, um... I would assume this would count as a disassembly. I would hope if I infuse. Dismantle form fusion? No. Nothing. All right, let's um, let's head to the tower then. Because I'm pretty sure I have some rocket launchers in the tower that I don't really need. I can disassemble one of those. I'm hoping it doesn't have to be an exotic because, I mean, I do have exotic heavies that I probably aren't going to use, but... Wow, this is taking forever. The tower must be busy. Anytime today, game. Thank you. All right, um, uh, yeah, I have one. One rocket launcher. <clears throat> and that's pretty much it. Well, I don't really use rocket launchers, so... Ah, there we go. We got a heavy power coupling. All right. So I guess maybe it wasn't a heavy that I just assembled. I thought it was, but... All right, so now we can go ahead and... All right, so that's one down. All right, now... Okay, apparently this person wants me to wait. Not quite sure why. Oh, sorry, dude.
Alright, sorry about that. Just double checking things here. Alright, so... I'm trying to remember where there is even a... Where a war set even happens. On... Venus. I do know where one happens on Mars. So let's go... Let's go to Mars. Oh, never mind. There isn't one on Venus. That's my bad. It's the moon, Earth, and Mars. Getting reports of enemy activity near Firebase Rubicon. Right, I know for a fact that there's a war set that happens here. Alright, and I need to... Okay. That's not what I need to do. <laughs> I need to change out to my Red Death. Might as well complete that though, since more accepted though, since I completed it. All right, we might be here a while. collection. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do this a while. There are such interesting things beyond the city. Please send a few back. Thank you. It didn't take as long as I thought it would. Yeah. 
This could be bad. Ah, it'll be all right. If you're game, I'm game. I'm game. Where'd that scion go? This could be going better. I mean, it could be going better. I think it could be going worse. <clears throat> Thanks for the help, dude. I forget how to wave. Uh, yeah, there you go. Alright, I didn't take notice. Did I get what I needed? I did. Alright, so that's two down. <clears throat> Let's go to... Well, I'll tell you what, let's finish up the collection that I got going on here. We'll finish collecting the focusing lenses since we already have the freaking quest. running come on just come here and die please pretty please where will they go be kind of careful because that Axis Minotaur is back here somewhere. There he is.
Oh, okay. We got Taken coming in. Crap, man. That's not what I wanted. I just need, like, w one more. Okay. I'll let the city know we secured it all. Should bring a nice reward. And that's probably going to bring in the Zealot. Because I believe that was three. No? Shit. I almost missed that. Okay, that's apparently still not enough to bring in the Zealot, so... Alright, I'm getting out of here. I think next point of call should be, well, I guess, let's go to the moon. Because the moon has a Warsad event, uh, like, right next to the beginning. Hold on a second. Can you, no, you can't change it. All right.
The fissures here are growing larger. Watch your step. All right, so hopefully this one doesn't take that long. But it probably will do. We might be waiting a little while for this one. Stab everything in the face. Uh, what? What is that? No, I don't want that because that's gonna take me elsewhere. So I guess we'll just have to hang out here for a little while. Till that war set decides to show up. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to continue recording, however, uh, you know, just in case something entertaining happens. Um, but I think I'm going to cut it, uh, so that way, you know, you guys don't have to freaking sit here and wait for this damn warsat to appear. And I will start it back up once the warsat appears. So, I'll be right back. Okay, it is taking forever for a warsat to appear. 
I've been here for like an hour. And um, the only thing that's happened were two extraction teams. So I don't know if they've moved the Warsat or if it just doesn't want to show up. But I've never had a Warsat not show up here on the moon. So to be honest, I, I don't know. I don't know where else I could go on the moon that a Warsat would show up. I'll give it like, I don't know. Ten more minutes? If it doesn't show up in ten more minutes, I'm just gonna end the, end the episode and, you know, pick up where I left off then in the next episode. So I guess for ten minutes, we'll just kill shit. switch back to gunslinger though. I Man, I do want to level stuff up. Like Shadow Stalker and whatnot, but um not in case a worse that shows up. I actually want something equipped that'll help me kill shit. Okay, is this going to be a war set or another extraction team? Okay, finally, thank God. Bring the war set in. At least I can end this episode on a good note. We might want to check this out. I'm getting there because I need this bad boy. Alright, dude, let's do this. This should probably be the easiest damn war set out of all of them. Oh, I just missed. Ah, uh, well. Get out of my circle. Halfway there. Oh, again.
some more. And that's it. Well done. Um, oh yeah, I did. There we go. Plasma confinement control module. Nice. Alright, well, at least we can end this episode on a good note then. Alrighty, so we only need two more to go. We need the ionized shell harmonics and the uh, plasma confinement control module one. Alrighty. But that's going to have to wait until the next episode. But uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode or previous episodes, please give it a like. If you guys enjoy my list, please, please don't hesitate to subscribe. And uh, please continue to, uh, you know, let me know what I could be doing, what I should be doing. Because obviously I'm still not that great at this game. And uh, if you guys are interested in, you know, helping out with some strike missions and or raids... Uh, don't hesitate to, you know, send me a friend request on Xbox or, you know, just let me know that you want to hang out or play online or whatever and we'll work something out. But until the next episode, guys, later.